Hi, welcome to the Freeman Conversations. I'm Jobert Okal, the online editor of the Freeman. Hi, I'm Vanessa Balbuena, the entertainment editor of the Freeman. And it's a Monday, and what better way to start the week than to start it beautifully two days after she was crowned the very first Bidding Cebu. The winner is here with us today, Vanessa. Let's all welcome Bini Bini Badian, April Smith. April Smith. Hello, Hi. April. Hello. Welcome to the Freeman Conversations. Hello. Welcome to the free man. Thank you. Thank you. Please take your seat. Take your seat. Oh, she's dwarfing us. Yeah, no, no, no. It's okay. your first time here, right? Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the free man and to the free man conversations. Before anything else, okay, I have to put this down because we have to say happy, happy birthday. That's belated. Happy birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So this is really a wish come true for you. Really? Yeah, so true. What did you yes. do yesterday? Uh, uh, I celebrated with my family. With my close friends. Okay. Before we begin, a message to your fans. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi. Uh, thank you to all the people who supported me, uh, who believe in me. Then at the end of the uh, of my journey, you're still there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if you have questions for April, please don't hesitate to post them in the comment section so we can ask those questions to her for you. And okay. before we let's mention that this is her first interview. This uh, is thank meeting. you very much you. for coming here first <laughs> yes. to the free man and banana deals. We really appreciate it, Vanessa. Okay, shoot. Okay, two days after the coronation. How do you feel now? Um, you were in tears when you won the crown. It. Yeah. I still can't believe it. I mean I I don't wanna assume I don't wanna claim it first, but I leave it to God. Lord, they gonna bahala when I got in sa top five. Then I was so pressured. Kay first kogi question. Yeah. <laughs> so the pressure is on. <laughs> After I answered, nag hilum na ko sa backstage. Okay, okay, So after I, I was surprised, na duga na lang mina bilin. Yeah. So what na ko na ko hala Lord. Whatever position is, I'm, I'm good now. It was very noisy yes. at the Grand Ballroom of Waterfront. Yeah, so I was very overwhelmed and happy. How does it feel really to be on stage? To be facing those fans and supporters? Um, there were even drums. There were even drums there, right? Yeah, but for me, I didn't know how to do it. Really? Yes, okay. Okay. with the lights, I didn't know how to do it. Okay. So it's an advantage of Zia, so you can walk well and project well. So Q and A lang. Okay, you have to uh, connect with the judges and the hosts yeah. and the audience. So okay, you're okay while walking, but it's a Q and A, so you have to convince the judges, of right. course. You have to so you have to eye contact. Eye, yes. yes. Okay. Now, April, I've seen a lot of kind of reactions when they announced the winner. No, but yours, I'm not sure. We captured it. Yeah. What that's telling me is that you really wanted the crown. Yes, as in. Kaila to be kato ako ni pung ng kaya makeup. Pasok ko ako ng crown. So what to happy kaya ko as in the shock shock ko. Like it's a very like kami lima na ka answer ba yan mitanda. Like dili ka ka inon like. So, mas naka-answer to siya. So, si Kaybao ng dati, si Nahog. So, wala dyan na Kaybao, naging sa Jumo winner. Yeah. So, na-surprise sa Jumo. So, so may ginagawa ko reaction. When you went back to your position, your place, satisfied ka kasi mo answer sa kanya question. No. <laughs> no, I was worried na dyan pag backstage na ko. Okay, ako okay, to. Yan, nga, ako sa mga fellow candidates. Na, it's okay, ako ang answer. Sila kayo, okay, Ram. Pero na, nagaling. Ah. Pero ako, like, sige, okay, ano yan na, na, moto, okay, okay. Sige, bahala na ni. Basta, basta na-answer na ko. Wala yung wala ko nag-stop or nag-stutter. So, yeah. that was good. Okay, ako satisfied. Ako, maura mo to akong gi-pray na may ta Lord na kami tanang candidates maka-answer. Wala yung ma-slip, wala yung ma-slide, mm -hmm. wala yung ma-dagma. That's and very then, selfless. Yes. Then, moto, I want the audience to give a sh uh, nice show. Mm -hmm. The organizers to give back na ilang ipagkapoy na tunlo na mo. Kailangan mm -hmm. yung makatag good show. Moto, ang akong i-pray. Speaking of the final question, if you could answer it again, would you have the same answer the or same would you answer. change it? The same answer, but I would like to add something. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for those of you who might not have watched the finals of Bilibinisibo, the final question was if there is an important lesson, lesson. that 
millennials have to learn, what should this lesson be? And your answer, Ava? Um, I should answer it back? Or yeah, sure. Um, yeah, my answer was um, time. Yes, yeah, about value and time. The value because time. Uh, the man of my life passed away, whom I can call my father, mm -hmm. because his peaceful goodbye changed my perspective in life. Mm -hmm. Because before I was a girl who is called a happy go lucky. Mm -hmm. But then I learned that we need to value time, especially to our family, friends, and loved ones, because we never know when our time is up. And we have to embrace it and cherish each, mo each moment with them. Mm -hmm. Important siya ng time. Then if na ako i-add, that would be um my experience had as um wala ko wala ko nagpadala sa mga tao na step down ako nga as being black mm. by discriminating me. Moto ako if ganahan i-add na marami bully you bully ko nila. Then like don't give up because to feel and experience discrimination and not having anyone to ask comfort to, someone to lean on, mm -hmm. someone that will say everything will be fine because I am here. Someone to fight for you. Yes, because discrimination does not beat you physically, right. but will corrupt you mentally and emotionally. So, dili siya sa So, motto akong ganahan sa ad na don't give up, don't let people step you down. Mm -hmm. Can you be specific on that? How? What were their words back then? How did they believe? When did this happen? Like straight to your face? Like, like elementary ko, <laughs> mga baby ko, dyan ba? Wala, nigra, nigra, so mga na. So ako, ako yung... You must have already been tall also at the time, taller than the others. Yes, yeah. oh. Like, if sa classroom, mm -hmm. I'm always yeah. gonna sa last <laughs> chair, <laughs> ceremony, na ako sa last, mm -hmm. so... Mana siya, mana sila, nigra, nigra, itong, itong, yan, ano ko best friend, ako neighbor na, siya, inga sila, nga, bahalik itong, guapa, mga sa, right, and, and now, all, the Billy Beating Cebu crown yes, is on your then head. Then, from that on, um, I, I'm also inspired by Miss Angola, mm -hmm. the Miss Universe, when the, uh, Leila Lopez. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay. So, ako dito na nag-start, and then, after ato, nag-join ko pageant, I won, then, nakabantay na ko na, na-inspired because of me. Mm -hmm. Which pageant was? That uh, was Miss Dumanho 2011. Okay. Which you won. Yes. Okay. Um, they also teased you for your kinky hair? Yes. Oh, I'm sila kay straight. I'm sila na mga kuting. I'm already in a kink. Spot the difference. <laughs> so, at what time in your life were you comfortable na you in your own skin, in your hair? Uh, when I won uh, Miss Milo Little Olympics. Okay. When um, was this? How old were you? 10. Okay, 2010. 2010 yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. 16 got. Yeah, then after that, I joined Sinulog Festival 3 2012. So, mm -hmm. I'm going gain ko more na confidence. Confident. So, I'm going to happy. Kay ko. Mm -hmm. Kaya nadao ko ato sa at daghan kay mas pretty na ko, mas maayo mo dan. You proved all your bullies wrong. Oo, oh, oh. so mga pa siya. Happy. Okay, we go back to the finals night. I wonder, how was it? performing, so to speak, in front of two Miss Earth winners. So we had Carla Henry, who was hosting the show, who was also the translator at yeah. that, that night. <laughs> Congratulations, Carla, on a very fun. good job. Carla, actually, as a trivia, she was actually Miss Freeman before oh, in the Tri-Media Olympics. Yes, and of course, Carla was there, Miss Earth, and then one of the judges was also Miss, Miss Earth. Is, is the current rating. Miss Earth, the rating Miss Earth uh, from Ecuador, oh, right? Yes. So, how is it? Um, performing in front of them. It was an honor to uh, not just me to showcase the other candidates that they perform, and then they appreciate they appreciate our beauties, different beauties, like, and then maka proud na most I mean not really most of the people would prefer white people. Mm -hmm. I mean not really they're not into black. I mean more and girls, but me appreciate ko kaya wala sila discriminate. Yeah. Which I must want to put it like this, like that. Mm -hmm. so, I'm so proud. So, motto na approach ko sa myself na um, no discrimination in this uh, industry anymore. Because the Filipinos are fascinated with these pizzas. Right, yes. right. And if right. I have to mention. Just, just take a look at all the whitening products mm -hmm. you can see uh, at the supermarket shelf. But when you go out of the country, actually. The white ones prefer dark skin. Yes. <laughs> so Malay, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to mention also that our rainy Miss Mandawi is also like April. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right? yes. 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 That's correct. So we're blazing a path here. Uh, Raf Raphael and Cebu. Yes. Also, um, uh, the Queen who won the Queen Philippines. 
and Samantha Dodds. Yes. Mm -hmm. also From later, yes. Yeah. Okay. Did Miss Char Samus Consho tell you anything while she was coming? Right. No, yeah. no. no. <laughs> she was having a conversation yeah. with Miss Char. Yes, Miss Char. You really deserved it. Mm -hmm. You've done so well. And happy birthday. It's your birthday tomorrow, right? I'm not my Insta. Thank you so much. This is the best birthday gift ever. I can imagine. Yeah. I really like it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to celebrate the 29 as long as I'm proud. <laughs> Satisfied. I would have to ask a question that many might be asking. Do you get to keep your golden crown? Um, um, I don't think so. <laughs> but every event is with me, uh -huh. uh, with, uh, with a security. Really? You have a security? Yes. Personnel. Even after the coronation night, there was a security. So you don't get to bring that home? No, then, uh, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so I think there is a crowd, it's very expensive. I'm going to make replica. Go, go ahead. Make a replica with this. At least you will have a... Uh, uh, so, like a bring home, yeah. na po, sa Later, yeah, when you yeah. turn your rain over. But this one really is the original, the yes. very first. So, uh -huh. you will have to turn that over to the next screen. Yeah, it's the next screen. And it's my birthday at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same day. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, the same day. I hope so. So find out now. There will be a Bini Bini Cebu 2018. Watch out. <laughs> there, because, sure enough. Yeah, there there are also suggestions that perhaps uh, they can they can hold the Bini Bini Cebu earlier in time for the charter anniversary of Cebu Province, oh, yeah. which happens. September, if I'm not mistaken, Cebu Province. So somewhere there. So there are also suggestions like that. Uh, okay. The best organizers. The best of the organizers, yeah. But of course, we'd like to congratulate the organizers of the very yes. the pilot. The gentlemen, the bomb, mga proud kay mo. Permi na nakaipan na bi. The bomb mo nagkoan na ning binibigin Cebu kay mga gentlemen. So it's a lot of them. They are from from Sacred Heart School for Boys. Bash Nagy. Kenneth Lim. Uh, yes, okay. April, I bumped into your your elder sister, no? C M, yes. and she told me that she was not trained anymore. She was talking about the Q and A. Did we go to mock you? Can you tell me how she helped you? Um, since um, before Jude, kay I joined ko Miss Duman ko. So yeah, we got trained na ko sa Q and A like. Before like the like, memo lang ko, mm -hmm. and then after I realized that I'm not comfortable mm -hmm. na ko an na mag memo or ko an na na so ano siya sige mag speak na from your heart yung correct man at siya. What do you mean memo? Yeah, to memo sa mga ah memorize. Yeah, okay. some, some okay. quotes mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. to ano. Siya just read books and mm -hmm. every time na mag ano may Q and A na mas balay. Okay, April, like this, like that. What is your answer? Casual interview. Oh, na na, pagkus pukato. Nilikit ko. Okay, April. Okay, different mo ko if if napos ang gawas and napos ang mga. So I still do my chores. A beauty queen actually does household chores. Yes. At least for April Smith. For Sam Straight, if you have one, I'm watching that. I'm going to watch this for you. I'm going to watch this for you. Did that question ever come out in your 
practices, so to speak? Um, yes, na asan siya. Yes, but mga to, but you know, if nanaw sa stage, mawala na siya. That's right. Uh oh, so mga to to kay answered bullying. But I preferred answering the value time to my to our family. Yeah. So. Well, because if you're already there with yes, the time constraint, so, you don't really have enough time mm -hmm. to really think of your answer, right? And like, mm -hmm. and like when well, you are. Well, like, nagha na Sugsud sa kung uto. It's not easy bitaw dyan na naa sa atubangan. Like, you wanna answer it fast. Kaya na kayo sink in sa mga mind while answering it. Yeah. So, mga uto siya ang nagawa. Ang nagawa sa nang youngers one. If it's youngster, yun wala na. Okay, na wala na natin sila. But the thought is there. I'm proud of all of you. Why you eat that? You answered very well kamong panahin. That's right. That's right. It's a top five. It's a top five. It's a top five. Yeah. May I ask how you ended up representing Madian? Because I heard you got the conference. You got the award as a Duman Hog. Yes. Yes. So, um, it's like this. Uh, Duman Hog and Madian. First guy, the approach was Duman Hog. So I na ni na na. Then, mas they prefer the Google handler. And um, mas mo prefer ang ilang mayor is mas mo prefer sa ng tagal dito. So, mga ito siya, ko, ah, okay, so, sige, ari na lang ako sa Badyan. Kay, nabi sa Badyan sa ko 2015. So, kay bawa na ko, ang say na, sa Badyan, how to promote Badyan, nakalive na sa ko there. So, mas advantage na ko sa ng Badyan. So, that's why. Okay. Speaking of which, mga wapa na kaagot Badyan dito. What can you see? Yes. Yung Badyan, yeah. Oh my gosh, daghan ka ayun sa breathtaking kawasan falls. And uh, you should try the canyoneering. Aye, so fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. But it's also for the fun, the journey, the canyoneering at the end of the trekking. He jumped also. Wow. How, how, how long does it take? The whole the, the whole trip? I don't know. Mga hours? Five, forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, hours. I don't. Depende pero it the I nice nice open falls na no escape. Kailangan ka mula yun. Pero nang ubat like na I way, so pero so ako pa. Kung ano naman judo ni, ay yun manan judo. There there was a time our government officials had it closed down, right? But kaya ito ito sa yung personal knowledge is it already safe? Ang kanin yun. Yes, it's already safe as long as naman we ubat like they would really insist na para sa like tour guide. Like, mga pasaway. Oo, oh, oh, pasaway. Like, they want ka na mo over the limit na sila ba? Or okay. so, brands and kapan. So, mga na siya. So, your advice to tourists who yes. want to experience? What's your advice to them? Um, I want to advise them that um, just follow the tour guides and be obedient. Be, uh, yes, mga na siya. Okay. Speaking again of Badia, no? Because she won. Her municipality will be receiving 200,000 pesos to spend. Wow. Now, if you can suggest on how they will spend that money as a money. Or do you have a say yeah. on how the money will be spent? Um, for me, I want to. Um, sa ako lang nag ako kay. For my own, nga uh, ganahan ko mag. I have. I want. I want to. Uh, mag charity ko gamay here mm -hmm. sa city. Mm -hmm. so, the lahik sa dito. Then I want to have a feeding program, mm -hmm. and I also want to promote my advocacy, na true sports. Mm -hmm. So um, true sports is um, ganahan ko maghimo small na uh, sports clinic na naan mga youth. So ano siya ng ganahan sa na every barangay is there. Just stay away from drugs. What kind of sports are you into? Um, I'm focusing on volleyball, but I play as uh, the two sports: basketball, track and field. And in volleyball, what position do you play? Uh, Tress, the blocker and the quicker. I they also do long jump or high yes. jump. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. How long have you been playing? Uh, four, five, six years. Wow. How about your prize money of 500,000 pesos? What do you plan on doing with that? Uh, of course, I'll set aside for my education mm -hmm. to continue schooling and mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to share my blessings mm -hmm. to the home for the aged and for the kids. Mm -hmm. Also, among our prizes 
it's a trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, but before yeah. we go to okay. Las Vegas, <laughs> I just want to ask further. You are taking a a uh, bachelor of tourism advantage. Tourism, and you are you stopped for a while. Yes, uh oh, I stopped for a while, and I stopped when I was going for a city. Okay. Thing, but then I hundred go into sports, but you know you can get it all. Right. Um, you can serve several masters all. at the same time. Yes. Why did you stop uh, schooling for a while? Um, I joined Coffee in the Philippines. I see. Uh, yeah. So you wanted yeah, focus, yes, focus on so, the passion. But it was not bad. Mm, of course, it's not cool. So it's worth it. Uh, Sibu was very proud of you. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I think that's the very least that anyone can expect from a representative. Mm -hmm. For the representative to really do her best. Yes. His or her best. Yes. You were already in our top five, so. Thank you. Part of the reason also, but that you stopped schooling for a while is the Manila base camp because you're an Aces and Queens. Yes. Aces and Queens and America Tour model mm -hmm. agency. Then um, I stopped school for a while para maka how was the adjustment from living all, all your life in Cebu to the big jungle in Manila? Um, it's not easy, pero na anad na sa ko when I was 14, mm -hmm. I traveled ako alone sa Manila. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then almost ako di sultan sa airline kaya I was too young, mm -hmm. you know. Then ako na isa, no to like conquerors ako. Dito na ako na learn, dito na ako na experience. So na ano kaya yung mga dayon ako. And I have a lot of friends in there. So sweet to na kadi You can yeah. find yourself. Yeah, sure. uh, so what did you do there at fourteen? Um, I I joined uh, Philippine Fashion Week. I see. Yes. Oh, at fourteen. At fourteen. Oh. So I was the youngest. Mm. Uh, then um, the like Cebu, me screaming select models, and then like gamay lang ang ni anto like you have to spend on your own ano financial. So what ni ko ma basin ma bawi ani na ko soon. Bisa dili ko kabawi dito sa fashion show sa mga talent piece dili ko kabawi but um, the exposure, the exposure is important mm -hmm. so mata siya. Okay. That's correct. This price for Las Vegas will this be your first time abroad? Yes, first time. When are you going? I don't know. Kasi <laughs> 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 first time man ako like uh, my first time na mag like out of the country ko is Malaysia. That was mm -hmm. last last month lang jud. Okay. First time pa na ako sa Pilipinas. For work or for R and R. <laughs> to relax a bit before the yes. competition. Uh -oh. Yeah. If you can just go back a little bit to the finals, who did you consider as your biggest competitor among, well, beginning with, <laughs> aside from yourself? Aside from yourself. Thank God. I don't know what I'm saying. But it's Can I? Oh. <laughs> The pageant is already over, even when you're you're the winner, anyway. Yeah. Three or four or five. Daghan man, like, kanan dili ko mo assume kay daghan kay dark horse. Mm -hmm. Then dili ko mag the ko an ko ana taas na bitaw ko ko an ko mga hello ana nila na ana. Yeah. The trans ko sa mga dark horse like dili sa known. Yeah. The trans ko nila na like who? Who are these? Are now. Hi Tracy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rhonda, yeah. Ms. Megan, uh, Maria, mm. Bantayan, mm. Asturias, Samantha mm. mm. Ingrid Rudias, my top five, my, yeah. my court. And and her oh. court will be joining us in a while, so watch out. Man. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> so those three. Yes. Oh. Okay. April, can we go back to the time uh, you did not discover Kani Dani Mo? Oh my gosh, we're going to have a story. <laughs> Yeah, many of us are not aware. Mm -hmm. um, when I was 12 years old, but Brian had passed away on that level. And then I was walking on the sidewalk, like, so I was like, I was like, I was like, street, I was like, 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 I was Ah, okay. I saw it. Oh, I model pa, model okay. pa So, I was like, I'm going to After that, okay. Where did you want though? My friend was, I'm going to go to the 
barbecue and how sila sir Danny dito. Uh-huh. Uh, niya, after that, okay. Niya siya, eh, pero tawag ka nila. Oo niya, no, eh, kaya, so, so, mami. Ano, ako, balik na ko, ano, pagbalik na siya. Tawag ka nila, magpako, ano, nalas sila yung story, ah, so, mga ano sila, eh, hey, pero you wanna be a model? Ano, ano, sa ko, ano, 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 <laughs> Bata pa ba yata ko? So, kasi I don't know how to post for good. Um, yeah, after ato kay nga, na sila na, sige, mga niya akong contact number, ano, ano, ha, ato sa akong shop, yan, shop eh. Malakaw na dyan, bitan sa amang. Um, niya ako mga nga, siya, pagdang heels, ano, ano, kung may heels, oi, I was using my kuya's heels. <laughs> Mata, uh, uh, kuya na, uh, ati kuya. At, at that point in time, how tall were you already? I was 5'7 na. Wow. So, mga nag do the box pa kong heels so, ako. Sir Dan, mag-practice ta. Siya, wala, ay day, nananay ka, mag-practice na ta. Ta, 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 ta. Mga mag-practice na. Dito na nag-start na nag-discover. So, mga ka. Every shoot na na ako, dapat kayong hair. Ito na discover na ko every taga-agency. So, i-try ko na nagkuha. But, mas more important na ko kung kinsa yung nagpadako na ko. Like, yung pakailan-ilan na ko sa industry. Mm-hmm. Mga ka, wala nyo ba nagpadaan nila. So, wala nyo ko ang loyalty ni Sir Dan. Yeah, at, until this day, they're still together. Yes. Very loyal to her discover. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm sure it's a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I can, but with, uh, with um, Jonas's agency, mm-hmm. you're already now with Jonas's agency. There's no conflict in that. Uh, no, up. wala, wala. Uh, my manager and Jonas is friends, our friends. Mm-hmm. And then I don't have yet any contract with them, so mm, it's okay. 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 You know what? Another interesting that she shared to me when I interviewed her before her Binibining Filipina stint was that yeah. she was playing volleyball daw sa Abeliana National High mm. School. Did you mention the And then, kaya na kurap na nahulog siya while playing. So, when I was like, oh, tumbang niya. Sakit ko na kaya, sakit yan ni. Pero dili ka na ang rasong yan, hindi lang siya tamal. Hindi lang ko na siya tamal okay. because... Okay, I don't know. What was the reason? Yeah. Okay, hanong ko na yung mga... Hmm, kasabahan siya ko alin sa umami, sa mga Sir Danny, kaya na kayo uwat sa lens. Tapal mo uwatan. Oo, hindi lang siya ko alin. Bilinan siya dahil na dapat flawless. Oo, hindi lang magkiakyat. Hindi mag dagan-dagan. So, siya na ito. That must have been very challenging for someone who is into sports. Yes, kayo. Like um school man kaya naman like at the gym time mo practice me ground to siya then we don't have knee pads so not a shot. Okay, speaking of sports, this girl is the daughter yes. of the yes. late former professional team. basketball player Daryl Smith. Yes, okay. Daryl Smith. Can you can you tell us the story about how your mom and dad met? Because your your mom is a tour guide. Yes, right? my mom is a tour guide and my dad. Uh, celebrated their championship when they won. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I meet Here you go. Yes, when I meet at the bar. So I'm like, Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and he taught you basketball when you were seven years old. Yes. I'm mm-hmm. like, I could be a girl. Mm-hmm. Then, pero, pero, pero uh, in fairness, I didn't have sports. I didn't have a hand. I'm into sports, and so much fun. It was from basketball. The the youngest of four siblings yes, and the only girl. girl. And the only girl. Why do you like sports? Um, I don't know, but it's already in my heart. Na I want, I want to play. I want the, I want na na ako team. Mm-hmm. And then it's nice na more ganang very competitive person kay ko na ganahan ko like mo win me over mm-hmm. the other team and then. Uh, that must have also helped in develop your body. Yes. Uh, then, of course, healthy and uh, to be fit the body is okay. important. So, um, so. Jobbers, she was named after the birth month of her dad. Yes. But a lot of people are wondering, I don't know what they And many actually are asking, how do you exactly pronounce it? No, April? It's just, yes. uh, it's just April, but my mom would prefer April. Okay. Yes, but I would like simple April. Yes. And the reason behind that the E mo April is? Uh, it's because all, my, all of my brothers has an E. Yeah. I see. Daniel, Michael, Raphael, yeah. and I April. And I also are named after, I, we're also named accidentally after uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, Michael Angelo, that's why this name sounds familiar, yes. Raphael and the reporter, April. I see. Oh, 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 I didn't realize that. <laughs> I just did, I just oh, did. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> okay, we have a question here, and you may or may not answer this, but now since you're a celebrity, oh. essentially, oh. people are asking, do you have a boyfriend? Oh my gosh, wala! <laughs> are you allowed? Are you allowed to have a boyfriend? During Maybe your reign. it's okay as long as na your focus, you know, you know what uh, where to manage, how to manage your time. Yeah. And focus lang sa so, your responsibilities. But if, for you, is it okay for you personally me? to yes. have, have a boyfriend during your reign, or do you think that? Yes, can... it's okay. It's okay for me. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't make us something such as. <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, um. In a, in a part of that. <laughs> what what does this person have? Qualities. Um personality na magkasinabot may and very important dapat understanding sa um, situation. Mm -hmm. Meaning your profession. Yes. Um meaning um uh, understand so that I like my time, mm -hmm. the responsibilities. Right. I know they would understand. Kaya so Before you, ano, kailangan kaybawasan ka sa unsay mga rules na. You were already April Smith when you got together, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure na makasama na. Uh, Manager has uh, uh, yes. expectations. So speaking of expectations, what can we expect from the Bini Bini Cebu? What will you be doing in the next year? Uh, after Mary? No, I mean during Mary. Sure. During Mary. A year ahead. Yes. Um, I would like to push it to push my. Uh, advocacy. Uh, uh, I would like to talk to Bini Bini Cebu about my advocacy so that uh, my use of um, ano, advocacy. Mm -hmm. So, and then after, um, I would help them for the charity mm -hmm. and for the tourism and with my, of course, with my court. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my plan me how to make it, I know. Productive. Yes, productive yeah. among rain and hopefully to inspire the aspiring candidates for soon being civil. You have a question on that, right? Because she has two other partners. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Charity and we will parties. ask them as they come in. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also asked you, uh, right after you won, you know, um, when you go to Manila, when you competed in Manila for being in Filipinas, and they learn that you're from Cebu, if they are threatened by what's their impression, you told me that they experienced discrimination for it. Yes, yeah, so, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, um, both na ah, na threatened sila tanda Cebu because Cebu la si mo kung atay ko jubin. Okay. Then as Cebu, wala so we already is. have that reputation um, in Manila. Yes, that yes. We have strong. Yes, it's true. And then as you know, like as Cebu, provincial na na, provincial na 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 na. Okay. So mo to like I stood up na na kung ah. Let's see, kana Cebu is not just a province. Cebu is not just, but Cebu is kana napamay kabuga. Yes. Uh, so more na shit, more na sila. And we are, of course, the second most important local government in yes. the Philippines. Yes, true. April, when you joined Bilibing Filipinas 2016, this was the year that Maxine Medina yes. emerged as Bilibing Filipinas University. Right? Yes. Oh. You were a semi finalist there. Yes. Okay. How did that Bilibing Filipinas experience help you? Oh, it helped me a lot. Mostly experience like how to do my own makeup, mm -hmm. how to do my own hair, how to handle myself without a handler and all. Like I just see. me, myself, and I. Na I have to stand up for my own. Na bisa discriminate ko sa so step down ko. I have to stand up. It made you stronger. Yes. Made so you should do that. You you had to do your own makeup. Yes. And every sponsor visit, uh, some other photo shoots. Uh, only the um, big events they would provide makeup artists. Okay. I so, see. kung wala kay makeup or hairstylist, you can do this look all by yourself. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um. I got a copy of Jonas Gakud's book, you know, yes. The Crown, mm -hmm. right? How, how to Become a Beautiful Woman. Mm -hmm. And then he has a statement there at the end of the book that's really interesting. That he said, if you become a beauty queen, don't forget to stand for something. Either people will love you or hate you more, but what's more important is that you speak your mind. Now, if there's like a topic or a subject that you'd really like to be a, an advocate of, what would that be? 
Or if you already no. are an advocate of something, what is it? Um, I think that would be a... What do you feel most strongly about? I think most important is your personality na makita sa mga tao. Kay mo oh may love nila or i hate nila. Mm -hmm. if, so, mm, uh, that's my advantage sa, sa pageant mm -hmm. because um, maybe they see my uh, my personality as I answer my questions. Mm -hmm. So, maybe personality is important, attitude mm -hmm. is really important. Yes, just be humble. Kung mga issues, what kind of issues do you feel strongly about? Um, what kind of issues? I think earlier you mentioned that the uh, bullying. Yes. yes. Yeah. That I, I can. You want to fight it. Yeah, but there are men inside my advocacy, mm -hmm. just sports because mm -hmm. many young ones are involved with drug addiction, mm -hmm. so due to yeah. depression, suicide, abortion, that kind of path. And it can destroy our lives, such as education, religious right. values, mm -hmm. then dreams, makagobak siya sa dreams. So, in that act, ganahan ko mo help through my advocacy, which is sports. To stay away from drugs, stay no to drugs, and yes, to sports. Of course, of course, of course. And, and with the government's campaign against yes, illegal drugs. Uh, yeah. So, kung ano ka ayaw, go with the flow, or do on a lighter side, Bob, when you're not in front of the camera, when you're not wearing the crown, what are you into? What are your hobbies, your other interests? Um, hang out with my friends, then, wala, mag-stores ko yun ang main, and I'm different to, dili ko mag-pinabiti ko yun nila, move down in lang ko nila, I don't wanna uh, make, uh, leave an impression nila na, nausap na si April, kiti ko yun na kasi nilin ko na, oh, ana-ana. So, dili ko ganahan kung unsa ko nila before mo sa piyakon. And also with my family, dili. That's the, ako mga barkada mo na ilang yung sobi pero may nang, nino si April kayo, ni Humble, uh, Humble, ni down to earth. Sa so, sobrang sa ka down to earth, nang imamang ito, hindi gusta. Kung kasi, until now, sa ito kasagoon siya mga mama nga manihig. Yes. I'm the youngest and I'm the only girl. Uh, Lalaki mong nilihig. I don't think so. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm 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 Now, question for the people in the world. I'm sure you will be focusing on Binibining Cebu for the next year. But when can we see your Binibining Philippines? When can we expect your Binibining Philippines to come back? Oh my gosh. Um, maybe when I'm already much prepared. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when I am um, already, uh, my age is matured already. Mm -hmm. I just turned 22. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm planning to join in uh, uh, 2019 or 2020. Mm -hmm. 24, mm -hmm. but that, that time. What yes. else do you need to prepare for? Uh, I need to work on my speech communication. Mm -hmm. my, okay. Yes, and of course, um, it's different because uh, Binibini Filipinas have this kind of um, ladies na ganahan sila yung nangyong imo walk like this so I have to adjust mm -hmm. okay it's different man sa when they have to so you have to think sa na so you're uh, so not satisfied with your walk? I'm not sure <laughs> sa <sadly. laughs> you're outstanding oh, thank you last Saturday thank you if you were if you would like if there is an international pageant you would like to compete in what would that be? because of course Miss you Miss Universe Aside, yes. well, aside from Miss Universe. Universe. Because um, diba, if you join a national pageant, part of the mentality should always be for you to join international yes. um, Maybe uh, it's either international or supranational. Uh, why supranational? Because um, it's more on performance. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm stand up. Marsha modeling type, but you have to. Um, from pageant we have once again. So we're not quite advantage. Because you're one of the graceful dancers, right? Each time you have a production number, I know. That's serious. And my mom is also a dance group. Yes. Yes. So it's in the blood. It's in the blood. But why Miss Universe? That's your top one, right? Number one, right? Of course I want na I am the first black Filipina to represent Philippines. I mean Venus Ra is not that really black. Pero mas makita ko nga, I'm so black. So I want to, I, I'm not sure if 
Pilipino Pilipinas has already read the mm -hmm. uh, uh, black to represent a uh, Pilipino Pilipinas uh, for mm -hmm. the Miss Universe. Yes. Uh -huh. What's your projection? Our candidate now will be flying in a few days for Miss Universe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Racial leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure yet because I haven't seen her uh, contenders, but. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, um, we're aiming and rooting for her. And keep praying that we're all safe. Of course, we're going to the Philippines. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Any more questions for you? Bro? I think the other girls are ready. Oh, <laughs> we didn't call them in. Ladies and gentlemen, April's court in Bini Bini Cebu 2017. Please welcome. More beautiful ladies. More beautiful ladies. In the house. Hi, ladies. Hi, welcome guys. to the Freeman Conversation. Hello. Please join us here. It's gonna be noisy. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it. It's gonna be noisy. Are we live? I love your shoes. I love your shoes. Thank you. We're getting crowded, but it's a beautiful crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we have with us today. Samantha Love Astoria, there you go, Binibining Cebu Tourism, and of course, Binibining Cebu Charity, Maria Higante. Abantayan. 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 Just to for everyone's education, is it really pronounced Gigante or Gigante? Gigante. Gigante. So there you go, Gigante, because everyone has been pronouncing it differently. No. Yeah. And I of like course, to refer to like the, 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 that of, that video when we were yelling in the middle of Ernata. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's more a point of authentication. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the first runner up and second runner up, the first runner up. Is Ingrid Herodias from Miglanilia, yes. and the second runner up is Kathleen Lendio from Danao City. Ladies, welcome, welcome to the Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for visiting Thank us you. first. Thank you. Please read our well, of course. Hi, Hi, Hi. 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 We asked April earlier how she feels now, two days after the pageant. What about you, ladies? I'm sorry. Oh, when, sorry. Go so ahead. Like, happy to I okay. We're really happy. Salamat, humana should it our passion. But like, even if humana, and camaraderie, and experience, and more friendship, we really girls all together. So many. So For how long have you been together? Two before months. Before more than two months. Imagine the friendship. Yeah. And the network that you already have. Miss Mbeduya? Oh, no, 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 Kathleen. I feel so happy currently. Kaya kung muna na pageant niya, maka-rest na me. Kaya di na like, sayo sa morning magmata para sa rehearsal. Kaya di na late, mahumal. Why? How long did you have to, I mean, how early did you have to wake up? And how late did you have to stay? I have to wake up 4 a.m. to prepare for school. Because she lives in the now. Yeah, these people are juggling, these girls are juggling full-time jobs and studies. Studies, work, and rehearsals. Yeah. Tapos, mahuman ang amo ang school kay 6 mm. yung rehearsal is 7 to 11 mm. so mahuman sa mo rehearsal mo travel sa go 1 hour to 30 minutes para mo abot ko sa dan now Ay, you wake up at 4 a.m. para sa the school so oh. congratulations <laughs> yes. Yes. That's right. beyond winning the title congratulations oh. for staying alive oh. <laughs> yes. of course and this is our baby girl we gotta yeah. make sure she grows even though she's already very tall <laughs> Kathleen is one of the best guests at fresh. Yes. yes. Maria. Maria. I'm very happy. This is. I'm actually not tired anymore. Oh, I am tired. Obviously, my body's breaking down. But, <laughs> but I'm so excited because this is one of our first appearances as the winners. Oh, yes. After the pageant night, this is the first time we've reunited since the winners were announced. Yeah. And I, we can't wait to get to our duties and responsibilities. Like I'm so happy to be seeing everyone. I'm so happy to be answering questions. I can't wait to see what. The committee has in store for us. It's very exciting for me. Yeah. I know that we have like quite the division of labor because um, the foundation that put up Bini Bini Cebu is very much into charity, culture, arts, and um, tourism and charity in general. And, you know, yeah. it's in the title. That's right. Um, not only the batch, but we also have Marikari Santiago and everybody else in the production. And you know, we can't wait. They've been talking about um, plays. They've been talking about functions that we have to show up to and. I love it. I mean, not every day can you say that the pageant title that you won is not a joke. Like, it is a real responsibility. That's true. And it is one that we've been dying to have for the past three months. Yeah. You did so not just win a title. You actually you won a job. a job, as they say. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Samantha. 
Um, I feel great because for the first time in almost three months, I took a nap yesterday. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel amazing. But um, aside from the sleep I get, I was having lunch with uh, the Batch of 85, some of the men from there, and we were discussing the projects that are coming up and their ideas are just awesome. It's so creative and I love their objectives that they have for it. So I just can't wait to see what we have in store. And who would have thought no, that the biggest budget in the Philippines would be organized by a batch of fully grown men? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Who have nothing to Why do. Not? Why not, right? And we just found out this morning, trivia, most of them have never seen a pageant before. Yeah. Did you know that? So they did. Anything Good is job. possible. Yeah, they, said, they shared earlier at lunch, like, do you know I've never seen a pageant before? <laughs> Except for Queen, which Mommy Carey took them to. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yes. You know, they can't wait. We, they, we're already discussing now. We were like, yeah. okay, so do you still want 54 girls? And they were like, without a doubt. Oh. Yeah. And they asked us, do you think in the next year? Can I, would you like it at the same location? Mm -hmm. So planning now for next year. Yeah. Right? So is it definitely that we're gonna have a 2018 edition? Most definitely. Yes. Okay. We we asked uh, April earlier if she could keep her crown, but she said she can. What about <laughs> the, two of you? Oh, she actually keep her crown? She actually this the the real version. I mean, yeah. this is made out of pure gold and precious yeah. stones and diamonds. So we have to turn it over to Orisha, but she gets a replica that yeah. she can use in her functions. Mm -hmm. And with us, we have to turn it over to the office, I think, just for safekeeping purposes. Okay. We're not sure yet as to whether we get to keep it, but... Hopefully we do. I mean, it's a nice yeah, I know. It's, nice. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's like a nice hand-me-down for the next batch of girls. So it's like That's true. That's true. <laughs> Even if it's like a mini one. It's, it's uh, really nice. Uh, really just a point of distinction. What jobs are you going to do? Uh, you are the Bidibidi Cebu Tourism, Charity. Yes. How different will your responsibilities be? Well, mine is focused on, um, okay, so Batch 85 of Sacred Heart School um, for boys, also known as Jesuits, also known as Ateneo de Cebu, um, actually began with that foundation that they have because of excess funds for the homecoming. Okay. All the way back in the 80s. And it's grown so much. And Bidibini Cebu is actually a result of that. Mm. And so, like, I guess that my area of focus will be the charities that they are into mm. to continue this kind of tradition mm -hmm. and it means so much to me because I as well I'm an Ateneo Harper mm -hmm. and all my siblings are as well so I feel like I don't know it's kind of like the story of my one big five. And this is a very fitting place one big five <laughs> this is a fitting placement for Maria because you already got I one think so. ambassador right? yeah it was so funny because when they called it out mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I had um, I had everybody interview me about like well, how do you feel about your title mm -hmm. or are you excited to, is it any different than what you've been doing lately? And I was like, I'm, I'm so excited to be continuing what I've always been doing. Yeah. And finally now I have like a formal crown. I mean, to me, it doesn't make a difference if you have a crown or not. My advocacies are my advocacies. And I think everybody close to me has known that. I mean, Saksi si Vanessa from before, but here and then. Um, now that I have a crown, I mean, little girls love it. So when you show up and you're just like, hey. Yeah. Because you are now a role model. Yes. That's right. How about Samantha? Well, um, in addition to the charities, I really do encourage people to check out all of the fundraising activities that Kenneth and the gentlemen do for charity. Because, like, I went to one of their art exhibitions for the Marawi victims. It was just awesome. Art Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. It was really cool. It was held in Oak Ridge in one of the sky rises. It was just like. Um, artists from around, I think, Manila and Cebu all collaborated together and all the proceeds went to Marawi victims and that was really cool. So I encourage you guys to go check that out if you can. Um, Does it need to go up? Go ahead, please. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, as far as tourism goes, that was explained to me. It's a little bit of a new area for them, but right now they're doing a really good job of exploring it. They're bringing, they're meeting with one of the head of tourism yeah. um, next week, and we're just going to go ahead and talk over some things that we can do to promote tourism in Cebu, um, especially through art. And uh, there was like a one-man show Kenneth was talking about. Abeliana, yeah, an artist. I don't know if you can give me the first Martino? name. Martino? Is it Martino? I'm not sure, but they've actually oh, gathered <laughs> the paintings, like the original paintings of this artist, from um, the people who had bought them, mm -hmm. and talked to them individually, mm -hmm. so that they'd be able to put it in a single show, like an exhibit. So it's quite amazing that everybody, all the owners, agreed yeah. to have their artworks displayed. And they donated one. One was worth. Wow. Uh, one was worth six thousand dollars, and wow. they donated it. It was. They Again, what they do is really, really cool. I mean, it's just so genuine. It's a, they all have a really good heart. 
you yeah. gotta love these guys. This is exactly why um, I realized, this is exactly why I feel like Video Beating Sabo is really ushering in a new paradigm. Mm -hmm. It's not only changing the way that people see pageants, but it's also changing how Sabuano see culture, art, and history themselves. Yeah. Like yeah. it's given us a more glorious reflection of ourselves, you know? That's right, there you go. And it's one that we deserve. Really. Correct, correct. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'd like to ask a matter okay, yeah. okay. Because you've, you've only been two years in Cebu mm -hmm. and five months with modeling and pageant, and now, now you have a crown. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? Did you expect it feels this? Great. Um, I honestly just like the more I thought about it, I just became anxious. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to leave it up to God. Just I'll just let him figure it out. And <laughs> I just did my end of the deal. I just worked hard. I worked hard as much as I can. and. It paid off for me, and I'm wearing a crown now. It's, it's, nice, yeah. it's a nice hat. <laughs> um, no, it, I feel great. I really just feel blessed and on top of the world right now. I'm, I'm very happy for all these ladies. They did such a great job. You all did a great job. Yeah. I'm really proud of us. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Kathleen, as one of the youngest, were you surprised that you reached the top five? Yes. Why did you ask us? I wasn't surprised. I expected her. Because I be didn't really expect to be on the top five. I was just aiming to be on the top 12 and on the top 12. Like top oh, 20. Top 20. Top 20. Top 12. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so, how did you feel when you were close? Oh, yeah. How did you guys know like? Ni asked you at April, ko, at April, sure kang ako to. Na siya, yes, ikaw to. Ikaw to. Yeah. <laughs> na siya, like, ako ni ko. Oh, na ano, ikaw niya. Ko, ikaw. Smile, smile. Ina na yung stage. Oh, I remember oh, after they were like, I was in front of you. I was in front of you. She was in front of you. She was in front of you. We walked back. Then we came up to the bridge. It's like, na ano, the now. Like, ako na ako sa center niya. Ito wag nang ganon. Ano ka? But of course, even if you have the title now, and you have the sash, school would still be your priority, yes, right? Of course. Yeah. Where are you studying at? San Roque, San Luis. Hands on the notion of you. In grade board, um, Adrian, no? I miss him. Si Ben, si Boy, ano siya? Kanang imong face kay pang TV juju. Oh, if you want to get the numbers, are you are you open? Game kay ko. Ano ano? 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 Ooh, really? I also see a bit of Chris Jansen. Yeah, pretty actor. Chris Jansen. Yeah, that's what I saw in her. Like, yeah. she walked on stage. That's all very kind of, mm -hmm. you know, hin hin, kind of with his eyes open. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, good friends should be in real life, huh? In real life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If someone like to us, like if my ego palang ngani kwarto, ha? Amo tang dadu ng 54. Like, even during rehearsals, we always cheered on everybody who won. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And everything. True. Like, we were, we're always we were always friends from the start. Yeah. A very friendly pageant. Very friendly. Yeah. Very friendly. Yeah. What yeah. It was nice that the other contestants who did not make it to the top. Uh, 20, 12, and 5 were still made to go on stage. Yes. 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 In the other segments. Yes. Okay. Actually, they are the number one cheers. They are the first one. 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 They are because my father, I told mm. him, promise me you have to relax and relax. Relax. I have a very supportive dad. So does she. Mm. <laughs> very supportive. We see her dad then. They're actually friends. They're actually <laughs> friends. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. And they kind of like united, you know, like, like leading up to the pageant during rehearsals, they would just be talking to each other. Yeah. And so my dad leaves for an hour and I was like, promise me you relax. It's like, okay, I'm just going to get a tarp written. <laughs> I'm just a tarp. And then he comes back with my brother and drums and whistles and balloons <laughs> right. and. I was like, oh my Even before God. the pageant started. Like, like, I was like, I feel so pressured. Like, I feel so pressured. Like, I usually want people before the show to not talk to me about pageants, you know? Because I'm going to think about it. Yeah. I want as much as possible to not be occupied with it, you know? Mm -hmm. And just enjoy and take it all in. But I was so happy that my dad's so supportive. I'm so lucky because I was kind of embarrassed that my dad bought all the balloons. But one of the candidates were so jealous. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, whose birthday is it? The gold ones. The gold ones are so nice, though. 
You know, he even asked, he even asked what color the confetti was gonna be because he wanted to match the balloons. Oh, 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 Shout out, Lina. I know you're watching live. Okay, the but overall yeah. impression or feedback about the pageant is that it was really well staged. It was very successful. This is the general feedback. But if yes. you were to give an advice to the organizing committee for next year and how to improve it, the, the pageant even further, what advice would that be? And that was Miss Argal's question. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. That was. Yes. Yes. That was. Yes. That was. Yes. That was. Yeah. Let's begin with... Samantha? Um, honestly, when that was her question, I was like, oh, God, I have such a good answer for that. But I will now tell you my answer. Yes, it's please. Nothing. I mean, they did such a good job. It's their first time. These yeah. men have And they not... know nothing about pageants. Yeah, they haven't seen a pageant before. So it's like... It's like me saying I'm gonna have an action film movie and I don't watch action and I don't really watch action films. So <laughs> and I knock it out of the park. So gentlemen, I mean you did a job. Yeah. 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 I mean these men did not really not know anything about pageants. They had never gone to school with women. They did not grow up with women. I feel like women <laughs> they did not ever have. You know, like they're about to eighty five of Sacred Heart with forty five of them in a class of all boys, with all teachers being boys as well. It was very like there was so much testosterone in the room, you know? I I'm just but I'm just so amazed that they were able to put together a pageant, but I think that's what brings about the camaraderie in the girls, because there's not a lot of drama, you know? Uh, that's true. Okay. And oh, okay. we're there, yeah, and we're like, yeah. hey, hi, and they ask us how we are, and they love to spoil us, they love to feed us. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they never have. Never ending. Just now, even. It doesn't show in your face. Oh, it does. We have to say no. It's, it's, it's a pageant <laughs> secret, really. It shows. I swear, I'm like, I'm like, Luna, Luna, and then he's just like, ah, oh, and then a waiter comes in with like more food. I'm just, okay. Uh, <laughs> imagine every day. I'm temptation. Oh my god. So many. It's like before we even finish rehearsals, okay, girl, snacks. And then before another one, okay, girls, line that. <laughs> and then all oh, the Very well, spread them a candidate in the next year. Very really well. <laughs> they love us so much. But if there was, I mean, if there's any advice I could give them, I mean, why fix what's not broken? I think it's amazing. If anything, they're thing. so extra. Yeah. I don't know, for the sake of their own convenience or because, you know, we see them going through stress and we would like them to relax a little bit more. So maybe like, Turn it down a notch if they like to. I mean, it's already so extravagant. Yeah. No one has seen anything like it before. That's but that's a really yeah. expectation. Don't People say that. Maybe out. they will lower the cash price next year. <laughs> they will not. <laughs> they will not. I know they will. But you yeah. know what's nice is these men will never run out of creativity. And it's yeah. not about it's the money. So nice. It's not about the money. Like every country pageant, I mean, look, I always yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Music, yeah. Like, these magic men have them. come up with this whole thing. I mean, just the video for your My Cebu. 60 seconds. Oh, to go to each municipality, that, that must have cost uh -huh. so much extra. Effort. Yeah, a lot. Much extra. And kudos effort. to Bite TV for doing that, huh? Mm -hmm. Like the same crew did that, all 45 municipalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's going to be, this is now, they have set the standard, the bar. So people are, and will be high. expecting the same what, magnitude, for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. for next year's. Competition. Because okay. all you five girls have joined other pageants before, right? That they need yes. to be organized so mga men. So I was gonna ask a while ago on some difference. So it's that nga kana wala drama kung wala lang. Mm -hmm. less yes, drama. I don't. I don't want to generalize, yeah. but I think it's um there is less drama because of that, and at the same time, they wanted people to understand that they're not taking advantage of mm -hmm. um, younger girls. Mm -hmm. Like they really wanted to do it for charity, and it just so happened that this opportunity opened up, and it was a pageant, mm -hmm. and it had to do with women. But then. It had like we barely even saw them. You and know, like Mama Kari also. Right? I mean, they were oh, always yeah. there, but yes. you know, we we're, we're very there. we're very good friends with them, mm -hmm. and they take very good care of us. They they're always yeah. making sure we're okay. They're always making sure we don't feel like we're objectified or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, they try to make sure that we always felt safe. They always give us the best of uh, like the best cars they can get. That's what we ride on. Like every single Catalina. mode of transfer transportation we've been on, we've never been cramped into any van. That's if true. anything, we even had extra leg like, space true. to like That's lie down. True. That's very good news. Yeah. The food amazing. Every so single comfort. venue. We never felt like we were being taken out of our comfort zones, even though we pushed ourselves. And I think that's what, what really made for a good show, because we really wanted to push extra. And yeah. every girl was in it, not just, just because of extra. their individual like performance, but for the whole thing, you know? We wanted to make history. That's for, and you did make history. 
All of you made history that night. But you know what's not, no? Uh, the biggest pageant, safe to say, in the Philippines was organized by men. Diba? And with those words, I'm sure a lot of girls listening right now are encouraged to join next year. I hope so. Ladies, give it a try. If anything, this pageant has changed yeah. the atmosphere of pageants in Cebu forever. That's I right. think. In the spirit of fairness, because we asked this question to April earlier. <laughs> <laughs> We begin from the younger ones. With okay. the younger ones. Hey, What's your hashtag relationship status? The oh, viewers are curious. Yes. 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 Because I'm still a baby. School first. School first. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Same grid. I'm in a relationship. Oh. 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 How long now? For more than a year. Now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Moment yeah. of silence yeah. for the And Bertis yeah. yeah. is gonna be getting is getting married soon. Uh, the, the, look alike, the look alike. Oh. The look alike. Oh. I'm still 22. Right. Let me enjoy life. That's right. That's right. Yes. And of course, you have to enjoy your being first runner. -up. First runner up. Yes. And have more mountains to climb. Yeah. And more seas to swim. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's nice. Hopefully, even an Iron Man. Don't you know how goal on the whole thing on the whole thing? Me too. It's on my bucket list. Oh, you're, you're a triathlete. Yeah. My boyfriend's a triathlete. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. She, but she's also I'm very always there. Before. Like, what? Can I watch you play? Every August. Was, was he there in order for one? Oh, yes. During finals? Yes, he was there. He was there. Go in. Oh, we saw him. We saw him. He was very. He was in a suit and everything. Your boyfriend as well. Oh, yeah. He oh, yeah. That, yeah. Answers. <laughs> that answers the question. Where are you at? No, no, no. Getting we saw you guys at the backstage. Show. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So the show had started. That's the story, man. The show had started, and I had texted him before that we were um, just outside the dressing room, and I didn't think he was going to wish me luck. And then the show was about to start, and I didn't want to be last to stand by, so I just went inside. And I was like, okay, they're going to see me anyway. And then when I, they were like, Maria, Maria, Maria. And then I turned around, and there backstage, the stage manager was holding my boyfriend and me, like, and I was like, why are you here? Like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, we don't have a And he was like, they let me in, they let me in. I'm so excited. Anyway, How long long I'm so How happy long? that I have a very supportive boyfriend. How long now? A few months. A few months? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm very happy. Um, Hi, and shout out. I'm so thankful for support, by the way. Not ready to mingle quite yet. I'm just really, really busy with everything. So I'm, I'm honestly enjoying, enjoying this moment. I've, I've had been in relationships with people. Uh, before mm -hmm. and you know now I'm just I'm enjoying my freedom and mm -hmm. I can look where that's I can. nice <laughs> yeah yeah okay so we'll give you this opportunity to give a message mm -hmm. to your supporters and your fans uh thank you so much everyone who's supported me along the way all your Facebook and Instagram shout outs I just appreciate all the warm love and support hi I'd like to say thank you to everybody in Bantayan my family my um, my model management company, my trainers, um, my friends, and of course, my special somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, of course, everybody from the committee in, Cebu, uh, in Binibini Cebu. Thank you so much for you know treating us with so much love and care. Uh, thank you also everyone at the Freeman for taking the time today, You're having welcome. us here, You're and interviewing us. It's our pleasure to be here for the first time as the winners, and um, that's all. Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Yes, uh, thank you to all my supporters who believe in me and who joined my journey. And um, thank you for following me on Instagram. Now, get that whole lot of followers. Yes, thank you so much. Get used to it. <laughs> Keep supporting me. Keep supporting me. Kami danan, actually. Yeah. Kami danan, promise. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. So thank you to the support na ko. Labo na sa kong friends, sa kong family, or sa akong Kaya family. Thank you kay Nadia. Oh, okay. Kaya family. Yeah. Lagi na kana tayo followers. Yung baby ko ko. Ikaw na niya forever. Okay. Nakakai Jenner gamay. Liza Ang lips ni Liza. Liza. Dino, 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 dino. So thank you everyone. So, Thank you everyone for support me, even at times when I doubt myself. Come on, believe me, I'm not Thank you, Kaayo. I really, really appreciate it. 
Thank you, Ayo. And again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Our guests for today, of course, the winners of the very first Bini Bini Cebu. This is for 2017. Bini Bini Cebu herself, April Smith. And of course, her court, Bini Bini Cebu Tourism 2017 from Asturias. Samantha Lowe, Bini Bini Cebu Charity from Bantayan. Maria G. Gante. Our first runner-up from Mindanilia, Ingrid Herodias. And of course, our second runner-up, the baby in the, the bash. Baby, yeah. <laughs> the baby, baby in the bash from the now city, Kathleen, Letty of Girls. Ladies, congratulations. And thank congratulations. you so much for coming. And thank you so much for coming and thank for joining us today. Us. And to thank all of you, you who supported these ladies in their journey to Bini Bini Cebu 2017, Congratulations also to all of you. And of course, to the organizers. This is the Freeman Conversations. Thank you very, very much for joining us today. And Joe Bertocco, the online editor of the Freeman. And joining me... I'm Vanessa Balbueno, the, Freeman, the entertainment editor of the Freeman. And of course, the ladies from Bidi Bini Cebu 2017. Until next time, thanks for watching. Join us again here Bye. at the Freeman Conversations.